All right, you guys, welcome to the Speakeasy Comedy Show. Thank you so much for being here today. Yay. Thank you. So my name's Tara Buchanan, and uh, this is my apartment. <laughs> yeah, if you take a look around, you'll see that there's a lot of shelving in here. Uh, my father was a carpenter, and I have daddy issues. So, <laughs> who are you trying to impress, Tar? And uh, I also have a roommate, and her name's Katie, and that's her vivarium. I know, it's right in the center of the apartment, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, vivarium or terrarium for the layman. And uh, there's two frogs, two geckos in there. One of the frogs' name is Pancake. And I don't know the other names because I don't actually care about them. <laughs> What's trending right now? Masks? Masks? Yep. I know, I sound like a visco girl, don't I? Oh. Yeah, does anyone know what a visco girl is? Woo! That's all right. Moving that would have killed in high school. Yeah, well, they don't they have the little hydro flask and you hit it and it goes... <laughs> or that's how they laugh or something. Anyways, it's like the generation after millennials, so I don't know what they are into. Oh, they're horrible. But, uh, cool. <laughs> Jack, you're in that generation. Um, the statement stands. You, Jack, yeah. <laughs> no, you're cool. I'll, I'll uh, allow it. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow that. That's cool. Uh, masks are great, because, um, you know, they cover your cough. It's important to cover, not spread the germs, uh, and also not have germs spread to you, and I think it's nice because it gives ugly people a second chance at love. <laughs> right? Like, oh, that guy's got a cloudy eye, but I want to see what he has to say. <laughs> Coronavirus? Yeah. You got it? Had it. Had it? Yeah. Beat it. It's okay. Woo! Yeah. You beat All right. it! Good job. Yeah, man, me too. Um, I think coronavirus is a really great excuse to use if you like don't want to hang out with people, which is kind of why a lot of people didn't show up to this comedy show today. So that's cool. Also, you don't have to like kiss your grandpa anymore. Because <laughs> I never really wanted to. It's always just like too wet and like on in my mouth on my face. <laughs> is anyone relating to that? It's just sad. Black Lives Matter. That's uh, that's trending right now. Is that too? Is that not nice to say? It's trending. It's good. I think it's. Look at me. <laughs> oh! Hey, I was panning the room, Allie. Okay, I was like, make eye contact with Tessa and then Alex and then Allie. <laughs> so it didn't seem too weird. No, it's good. I think it's uh, it definitely puts a hand up for the LGBTQ community and uh, you know, Native peoples, and I think that's always a good thing. I don't know, it doesn't bother me in the way that you would think. I, I don't, like, people saying the N-word, for example, doesn't offend me. It's mostly when people just use the word black in kind of a roundabout way to say something's bad. Like, it's okay to tell a white lie, but if you hit a patch of black ice, you're fucked. Like, <laughs> um, cancel culture, you guys have heard of it. It's a thing. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. It's happening. Uh, our good friend Chris D'Elia. Is anyone here a fan of Chris? No? No. no. I, I was. <laughs> Don's a fan now. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the like so. Yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he, he definitely had a little run in with the hashtag Me Too. He, um, he got it uh, messed up or mixed in with some underage ladies. And, uh, he almost tried to express it in his art, didn't he? If you saw the if you saw the show You, he plays like a pedophile in that show. And then in another episode of Workaholics, he plays a pedophile in that show. I'm like, he's trying to tell us something. He's trying to express it through his he's like if Michael Jackson was just like, you know, I love that a boss, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> That's me. So yeah, they canceled, well, they, they're canceling Chris, and then they canceled Louis C.K. too. I really look up to that guy too. But I think that's just a rite of passage as a comic, you know? Eventually, they're going to want to cancel you for something. So I was like, oh, what are they going to cancel me for? Tara Buchanan, running a speakeasy comedy show, flying by the seat of her pants in her living room, <laughs> amongst this COVID craziness. No, I don't think it'll be for that. For sure. I don't think it's going to be that though, you guys. I'm going to have to take it up a notch if I'm going to be competitive with my idols, Chris and Louie. 
I'm gonna have to go full bestiality, you guys. I am gonna have to fuck a dolphin. All right, you guys. I think that <laughs> I think that I've warmed you up enough and uh, touched this mic enough. So we're gonna bring up uh, your first comedian of the evening. 